turned 35 last Sunday And his hair he found some gray But he still ain't changed his lifestyle He likes it better the old way So he grows a little garden In the backyard by the fence He's consuming what he's growing Nowadays in self-defense He gets out there in the twilight zone Sometimes when it just don't make no sense Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com Coming through with a quick check-in It's been about 8 weeks I believe since I last made a video So it's been way too long I've been very busy working out in the food forest and just spending all my free time getting things in shape out here. And, uh, you know, just wanted to let everybody know uh, who's shot me a comment or a question and I haven't gotten back to you. I apologize for that. Sometimes, uh, you know, when life gets busy, it can get hard. And I like to answer questions in chronological order. So when I get backed up, I get backed up. But just want to let you know I see the questions and comments and I appreciate those. And I'm going to do my best to catch up as soon as possible. But just want to quickly check in let you guys know I'm doing fine and I'm actually doing great and I'm very excited this is year five of the backyard food forest if you've been following along you know that already but uh, things are really coming along really looking great we've got all sorts of fruit now coming up on the trees um, you can see here I've got this Florida King peach tree just loaded down with fruits all over the place been harvesting off this now for almost a couple weeks and now it's starting to get a little bit attacked by some of the wildlife so it may be time for me to take what's left on the tree down and go ahead and do my harvest see here got a fig tree right next to it a couple of them in fact and they're loading down with figs so the majority of the fruit trees out here now are starting to produce fruit which is a very exciting thing I'm not gonna do a full tour right now I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what's going on Santa Rosa plum tree of course got the comfrey there below it it's a black beauty mulberry it's actually loaded with mulberries uh, about a month ago slowly but surely they disappeared so I'm not sure if it was wildlife or if they just dropped because the tree is still very young here's some more fig trees this is a white blanket fig and starting to put off some fruits now this year see if I can show you a couple of those there's one back there still not a whole lot of production but it's doing something and you can see the hop vines once again starting to trellis up into the fruitless mulberry and we've got this banana tree now is hovering at about I'd say about 14 feet or so here's a couple chickens They're doing what's called uh, dust bathing so yeah guys just wanted to check in with you um, I feel bad not having checked in earlier I know some people have actually expressed concern making sure I'm okay I'm doing I'm doing great everybody um, there's just so much content I'm gonna be bringing to you look at these these are uh, thornless blackberries coming over my neighbor's fence look at all the fruit I'm gonna be getting off this and just covered with bees all these bees are pollinating all the uh, berries and then they're coming into the garden and pollinating the rest of everything so cool this is a all-in-one almond tree and we've got a few almonds coming on it's not much but hey I've let these trees get up to about uh, 10 feet or so now and you know you can prune these dwarf fruit trees to a point where everything is accessible without needing a ladder or you can let them get a little bigger and create a little bit more shade, a little bit more privacy. It's really up to you. But I'm really liking the way it's turned out having the trees planted close to each other and it creates more of a hedge when they're all grown next to each other like this and a wind block. Got a few fruits going on here. All right, I wasn't going to do even this much of a tour, but, you know, it's exciting stuff. I think I've added somewhere about uh, 
15 to 20 new perennial species of edible plants out here this year so I'll be sharing that with everybody come the tour which is about two or three weeks away and I'll be doing the full annual tour back here once again been harvesting these loquats now for over a couple weeks as has the wildlife the squirrels and the birds have been really loving this tree as well but as you can see they haven't made too much of a dent I've been harvesting they've been harvesting there's still plenty of fruit this is a beautiful evergreen tropical looking tree that does well even in colder climates so look into the loquat I'll be doing more um, information on this tree soon to come as well I did some major pruning on the grapes this year. You know, I'm not growing grapes commercially. I'd like to get 12 or 15 nice bunches of grapes. I'd be really happy with that. Looks like I might even be getting more than that this year, so we'll see. So that's the update for today, guys. As always, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.